Zoodles. Are you on the zoodle train? Zoodles are like noodles, but for gluten-free people. I'm not a gluten-free person, but I do like zoodles. And to make zoodles, you need zucchini. And one of the best ways to get zucchini is to grow it in the garden. But zucchini can be a little tricky to grow. Zucchini, squash, cucumbers, all those plants in the cucurbit family. So one of the reasons why plants in the zucchini family are a little tough to get going is because of pollination. So uh, we have a, a tough time with that in our Houston gardens. And I'm trying out some new zucchini types here in my Chicago garden too. So I, on purpose, planted my zucchini plants in my pollinator garden instead of my kitchen garden behind me, my raised beds. Now, zucchini can get super, super big, like three feet wide if it wants to. These are about, they've been in the ground for about a month and a half, and they're obviously not three feet wide yet, but they are at least a foot wide or so. One of the challenges with growing zucchini, squash, cucumbers is pollination. So pollination is where the pollen gets moved from a male flower over to a female flower. And it's kind of tricky because the flowers tend to open only at particular times and you need to have something like a bee move the pollen from the male flower into the female flower on a pretty regular basis. So um, it needs to happen more than once generally. Now these zucchini, I'm starting to get some fruit, but I also have some signs that pollination really isn't happening. So I don't know if you can see it from the video standpoint, but I have this little zucchini here, I'm gonna pull it off, uh, that turned yellow. And part of what happened is the zucchini started to grow, but it wasn't properly pollinated. So we ended up with this kind of sad thing that's just gonna wilt away into compost. It's a bummer. So the reason why this happened is because not enough pollen got moved from the male flower into the female flower, this female flower, as it was starting to develop. So, boo. Um, one of the things you can do to help out, number one, is to plant more pollinating plants. So it's the reason why I put my zucchini in my pollinator garden. So I've got sunflowers, zinnias, um, all kinds of flowering things that pollinators love, uh, in hopes that I'll be drawing the bees and the butterflies over here so they play around with the zucchini while they're in the flowers. I don't have a ton of flowers yet. A lot of the flowers I'm a little behind on growing. So perhaps that's the reason why my zucchini isn't getting pollinated the way I'd hoped. You can help it out with this paintbrush. So generally what you need to do is wait until the flowers open. And I was hoping they'd be open this morning. It's early in the morning. And so my thought was, oh, I'll come out here with my paintbrush and move some pollen from the male flower over to the female flowers. But all the flowers are closed. So generally the flowers are only open for like a short period of time. So you're pretty much gonna need to put like a security camera on your zucchinis. And the minute the flowers open, get yourself out here and move the pollen over. Um, yeah, just joking. I'm guessing you don't have time to do that. But if you come out and you see the flowers open, go grab your paintbrush, grab some pollen from the male flower and move it over to the female flower. Like now, do it. Because um, otherwise what you end up with are zucchinis that look like this rather than the stuff that you can use to make zoodles. So um, make sure you have a clean paintbrush and literally all you're gonna do is go into the male flower, pick up some pollen. I'm kind of forcing this flower open, which isn't fair, but I have to do this for the video. So you pick up some pollen, you'll see it literally on your paintbrush, and then you just go to the female flower and paint it in. So the way you can tell the difference between a male flower and a female flower is a male flower has a, like a thin, thin little um, stem and like it's long and the female flower is gonna have like some curvature behind it, some hips, if you will. So just think of like guys and girls bodies and that'll kind of help you figure out if it's a male flower or a female flower. In general, female flowers have more curves, just like us. So when you see a curve coming behind the flower, that's generally for any family, any plant in the cucurbit family, that's gonna be your girl. 
And when you see this straight stem right behind the flower, that's a boy. So your job is to get out there with a paintbrush, move the pollen from the boy flower over to the girl flower. And hopefully you'll get less of this and more of great, delicious, fresh zucchini. And then you can make zoodles until your heart's content. Um, zucchini can be a challenge in the garden, but when you get it right, when it starts happening, you're gonna get tons of zucchini out of the garden and you need to keep picking. Um, there's a joke about people dropping off zucchini at each other's houses because they're getting so much. Um, personally, I've never had that problem because I've always had pollination challenges, um, but I'm hoping my garden in Chicago will be a little bit easier. So if you're growing zucchini, drop your tips in the comment boxes below. I'd love to hear your tips on growing zucchini and getting it pollinated. And thanks so much for bringing back the kitchen garden with me and my zucchini. I'll see you next time.